Hey, welcome to Unleash Your Tennis. In today's lesson, I want to share with you the surf analysis that I did for a student. He sent me his surf videos and requested me to analyze for him. So in this video, you'll hear me explain to him what are the things that he should look out for and change so that can see surf will be better. Are you ready? Let's time to do the lesson right now. All right, Paul, thanks for sending me your surf videos. Now, the first thing that I want to share with you is about your first move of your surf. All right, now, I noticed that when you are preparing to surf, your first move looks like this. Your tossing arm is here, going straight up, and you release the ball. All right, now, I would prefer that you can make the first move with the shoulder so that you can see when, I, when I'm when i about to make the first move, I'm rotating the shoulder. Can you see the, the shoulder rotating towards this side? And I split the hand and I make my toss and swing my racket back. Alright, instead of doing this, I want to do this. Now the advantage of this is I'm able to wind up better. All right, I can wind up my body and I can feel the opening of the chest when I surf. All right, and a good, another good thing is there is an added advantage of this rotation. All right, eventually when I move to the trophy position, there's this rhythm of going to the trophy position and I contact the ball. Alright, so the first thing is the first move. Okay, instead of this, straight up, think of the shoulder turn. Shoulder movement as you release the ball and pull the racket back. The next thing I want to talk about is the racket drop stage. I noticed that in your serve, the racket drop is very minimum. Right, it feels tight, so when you are serving, you tend to do this, you pull back a racket, and at this stage, you start to swing the racket forward to contact the ball. Now, this eventually will limit the power of your serve, because there's, there's no relaxation, right? there's less of, less of a racket drop, and eventually, the whole mechanics doesn't flow. So in your practice, I suggest you practice throwing balls to get use of the throwing mechanics. So for example, right, you are holding the ball with your racket hand. As I want to throw the ball forward, okay, I want to be more aware of my elbow. Alright, so from here, my elbow is pointing down. As I start throwing the ball forward, I want to feel that I'm leading the throw with the elbow. Alright, so you can see the elbow movement here. And I also feel the chest turning and expanding okay, as I throw the ball. So if I were to throw the ball forward this way, okay, I want to lead with the elbow. Alright. And I can throw. Okay, one more time. So from here, lead with the elbow and throw. So next, if I will transfer to the racket, okay, I want to feel the same thing. I start from here, looks like a trophy position, okay, I want to think of leading with the elbow, alright, I leave the elbow and I should see the racket drop, okay, can you see the racket drop from here? Okay, I leave the elbow and this will cause the racket to drop, drop back. All right. So practice a couple of shadow swings from here. Okay, lead with the elbow. And then I can swing the racket forward. Okay, so be aware that I want to lead with the elbow. Then the next thing is you can practice serving. We can start with a half swing, 
All right, a half serve, sorry. Half serve, so you can get ready this position. Okay, and I toss the ball up. I fling off, leading with the elbow. Okay, again. Again. Okay. So I'm thinking of this throwing movement with the elbow leading the way. The last thing I want to talk about is the legs. I noticed that when you go into trophy position, your weight is loaded on the back foot. Meaning to say, when I, when I saw your surf, you were doing this. Alright, this is your trophy pose. I can feel that the weight is loaded on the back leg and the front, front leg is pretty relaxed. Okay? So this is your trophy pose. You, it seems like you're tilted back behind the baseline. Now, if you see professional players serving, you notice that whether they are using the platform stance or the pinpoint stance, when they are at a trophy position, both legs are loaded. Meaning to say, when they toss the ball, okay, if I'm using a platform stance, you can see that both knees are loaded. Okay, as I toss, both knees are loaded. If I'm using a pinpoint stance, right, you can see the player move up the feet and both feet are loaded at the same time. So I want you to work on loading on both legs instead of just the back leg. You can start off with shadow swing, start with a shadow swing with the, with the toss. Alright, so as you toss, feel the knee bend here. Okay, and this can help you to practice your first move as well. Alright, again. So right here, shoulder turn, first move, look both legs. Alright, so be more aware of where your weight is on the legs. Alright, I'm sure if you can solve this problem, your serve will definitely improve. Alright, to sum up, I want you to focus on three things. Number one, the first move. Number two, the racket drop. And number three, the loading of the legs. Okay, so make sure you load on both legs. Alright, if you have any questions, feel free to reply me in an email or in a messenger. Alright, I look forward to hear from you again. Until next time, happy playing.